So we um, actually just finished our RV trip uh, for our 4th of July uh, week uh, in 2018 and we actually went, we stayed at the Fountain of Youth RV Park. And so what we wanted to do is actually just do kind of a synopsis and talk about our positives and our negatives. Um, so that way we could kind of, you know, give people an idea of how we each thought about it and plus a kid's perspective. Because that's really important, everyone's RVing with kids. So um, a couple things we wanted to talk about. Uh, first thing was in and out of the park. Um, one thing, and I'm sure everybody knows this, when you're pulling an RV, is when you pull into the park, where do you park to go check in? So sometimes, I mean, that's a big deal, especially with some of these little tiny parks and towns. I mean, your check-in's right inside the entrance and you're almost kind of parking your rig on a street while you go to check in. What was really cool about this place, and we didn't know what to expect, but when you pull in, right in front of their uh, main office, they've got like a little pull-in area with a stop sign and you can actually get out and check in right there and you're, you're not, you know, no cars are going by you. So that was really, really nice. And there's like visible signs, so you know exactly where to go. And exactly. it says, go up here and stop. So it's, it's not confusing if you don't know what you're Yeah, and that was nice. It was easy to pull in. It wasn't super busy or anything like that. Um, and then of course, going out of the park, um, when you left, it was a little tight getting out of there. Um, we will say, because we were watching some people, there's some poles and stuff you got to drive around when you leave your site, so that was that was a little tricky. Yeah, the direction that we were facing, we had to drive down this little road kind of going towards the office, and then there's this corner, and then they had poles on each side of the road in the grass. Yeah. Well, then trying to get the, the rigs around that, I mean, we did, and there was room, but we watched another rig, and it was really close, so that's yeah. just something to kind of watch for if you care. Something to think, yeah. Um, the other thing too is there was a whole bunch of uh, um, pull-through sites, which I think There's actually most of the park was pull-through yeah. sites, so that was really nice. There is some backup ones as well, um, and it was kind of cool. There's a lot of places for tents, so if you're a tent person, um, they did actually have a lot of you know places where someone could set up a tent. And they did have quite a few trees, which is nice, because that gives you shade. Some of the spots especially more towards the office somewhere actually had a lot of bushes and trees and we noticed it was kind of hard for some people to get their slide outs out so oh, you might yeah. want to just kind of like look at whatever site they gave you and make sure it's going to actually be big enough for you to get your slide outs out and stuff but, but most of them were fine like ours was had plenty of room to pull in and right put their things on. yeah so so the, the site was really cool because we were able to just pull right into it um positive things about the site of course is it's a pull through uh, the other positive thing about it is um, it was long, so I mean, we're actually able to pull our vehicle all the way in, so that was nice. Um, negative thing, though, is it was tight. I mean, it was, it, like she was mentioned in the trees, uh, kind of getting in the way of the slide out. That was an issue with a lot of the sites. With ours, it was just basically, you know, one rig to the next. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of room between them, um, and, you know, but, but, you know, you got your positives and negatives with everything. And the sewer hose. The, the, the sewer hose, that, that was um, a negative, I, I will say, because when we did set up the sewer hose, and probably some of this affects to where your sewer line is on your RV. Um, you know, ours is, ours is kind of towards the back, but where the sewer hookup was, it, was, it wasn't 100% flat, so it actually, the sewer hose had to go up and try to hook into the, to the sewer, I guess, pipe it was actually above ground, so. It kind of looked like our neighbors was the same way too, so. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of tricky. Um, I, you know, I will say that I had to really adjust that little ladder thing you put the sewer hose on. I know somebody out there is gonna know the exact detailed name of that thing, but I, that thing I had to readjust it and move it around, so that, that was kind of tricky. But as far as like the, the water hookup, that was nice. Um, there were nothing, no problems there. They did have a picnic bench there, but it was kind of old and wobbly, so. Yeah. But I mean, they did have a picnic. Needs, needs a little bit of work. What did you think about the site? Well, it was pretty cool. I mean, like, like, the, like, where our place, like, was it, there wasn't a lot of grass, and they're working on getting some grass there, but that was definitely a negative, so. Did you yeah. like to be able to have some grass to play in and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. And you felt like we were kind of close to the other neighbor, so it was a little hard to play. Yeah. And, um, well, the pool there, it was pretty good pool. It, um, it was like like some pools, like when you go in there, like 
you're freezing after like 10 seconds. This pool, like, you can go in there for a long time and it was really warm. And the cool thing about this pool was it's like there was a rock in the middle of it that was fun to climb on and jump off of. So that was that was a positive. That was a, that was really good. And that's yeah. true. They do have a good pool and it's huge. Tons of room. They do allow floaties, which a lot of pools don't. So that, yeah. is, that is a cool thing. Well, and the incredible thing about the pool, too, though, is it's actually part of um, Thermopolis' hot spring. So they, they say Thermopolis has the biggest hot springs in the world. Um, this pool, and I have no idea how they got this, but the Fountain of Youth RV Park, it's called the Fountain of Youth because they have hot spring pools right there. And they're so, warm. And, and they're, they're warm, yeah. That's, that's the incredible thing. And actually, swim as long as you want and you're not freezing. And, and in the other video, we, we have um, you know some more pictures and video of each pool, but they have a, one pool that's really hot, one pool that's a little bit warmer, um, more like a jacuzzi, and, and then another pool that's more like a swimming pool, but it's still probably 80, 90 degrees, I would assume. I mean, I shiver really easy in pool water, and, and I, I have no problems in there at all, so that was really cool. Um, so I, I definitely think there's a lot of potential with their pool area there. There's more things they could do. Um, and the Wi-Fi? And the, the Wi-Fi, uh, and we, our, ours could have been a little bit more, you know, improved because we were closer to the office, of course, but I have to say, we were actually able to stream Netflix on their Wi-Fi, um, so that was huge, because I can't, you know, there's so many, there's so many RV parks you go to, you can't stream nothing. Uh, the, the cell phone service was almost non-existent, though. I tried to make a phone call, and I couldn't connect, and person couldn't hear me so cell phones not very good but the Wi-Fi was, was at least awesome they do right. have Wi-Fi I was able to get on their Wi-Fi and you get on the internet and stuff like that so that, that's cool yeah that was huge and uh, but no no cable hookups um, I did look for that there, there wasn't a cable hookup there but um, I'm assuming if you have satellite though that would have worked as well um, which we don't have that but the playground. Um, they do have a playground yeah. what do you think of the playground mm, well I mean it's like at the sheer point to actually call it a playground. It wasn't the best playground. Like, it had a little place, like, for a baby to go and slide down and go through these little tubes and whatnot, and there was a little cabin-ish thing that was there. But So it was it was an okay playground. Just don't have big expectations when you go there. That's yeah. true. I agree. I mean, they did have a playground, but not much of a playground and one thing i didn't care for is i wish they have a little fence around it because it is literally right next to the main road where everyone pulls in with their rigs and their cars so that did make me a little nervous but yeah so yeah so i mean um but it, you know the other thing too is uh the garbage can which I, I mean i've never really thought about but i mean we stayed at one rv park and they were all over the place so when you're emptying your garbage all the time it's kind of handy to have one close um, there's, I, I had some stuff to throw away, some boxes of things that we had just from buying things for our RV. And uh, I asked the lady, I was like, where's the garbage can? I actually put this in the video, but she pointed and I'm like, I'm thinking it's somewhere close and it was way in the heck on the other side of the RV park. So, so be ready to walk if you've got garbage. I mean, it was, it was definitely a truck. Um, so yeah, but um, you know, overall, I, I, I guess for me, uh, would we go back? I mean, yeah. we, we definitely would. I mean, and, and honestly, there's not a whole lot of options in Thermopolis, but I, I was really surprised with this place. I mean, I didn't have high expectations. We tried to Google stuff, we looked stuff up. We even tried to find YouTube videos just to see. And I mean, it was just getting hammered. But they, they have new owners uh, that I think took it over like last May maybe. So it's been a little over a year. And, you know, like she said, she said, we're, we're doing a lot of work to it. We're looking to add grass. Um, and so, so they are, they are going to be doing some upgrades. And, and I'm kind of excited to see what they do. So would we go back? Yes. And, you know, I'm kind of excited to see when we go back next time that the enhancements they've made. Yeah. So. Would you want us to go back? Yeah, I think it's a really good park. Okay. Yeah. Last thing I do want to mention is they have this thing called, like, they call it the bunkhouse, which is like your showers. Um, some bathrooms, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Really clean. Um, I didn't see any issues with that. Um, the one thing is, is they have four showers. Two of them weren't working, but two of them that were working, they worked fine, hot water, everything was good, but you do have to pay for them. So that was kind of the first time I've ever seen that. Um, but it, was, it wasn't a lot. I think it was like 25 cents for two and a half minutes or something. So, I mean, it wasn't a whole bunch, but, but just FYI, if you go there, 
you know, and you have to use a shower, be prepared that, you know, have your quarters. So, all right. anything else to add? No. Nothing else? No. All right, awesome. Well, hope you enjoy our video, and uh, don't forget to hit like. And what else should they do, Elijah? What? What else should they do? Peace. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> yeah.